All right, guys, welcome back for another one. Today, we're looking at the skill of vectors on the ACT math. This is a skill that shows up kind of occasionally. It's not the most commonly tested topic, but when it does show up, a lot of my students really struggle. But it's nothing to struggle with. Let's take a look together. First of all, the best way to teach this is just to jump into some questions. Why not try with number 54 over here? This one says, if I added the vectors u plus v, remember, we don't really want to read all of this up there. Just do the math, right? So it says one of these is equal to the vector u plus v. If that's the case, please watch. If I'm going vector u, and I'll do this off to the right-hand side. If I'm going vector u, and then I go vector v from there, what is that the same as? That is the same as me going vector, which one? Again, if I went vector u and then I went vector v, instead of doing all that hullabaloo, what could I have just done all along? I could have just gone vector q. The answer here is k. Really, that's called the resultant vector for those of us that took physics. That's 54. I want to try another one. Let's get the hang of this. Let's try 33 over here. Very, very similar idea. Again, I'm not really going to waste my time reading all this. I just go straight to the math. It says, if I went u minus v, then w, really u minus v plus w, what is that the same as? Well, let's try. And I'll use my dotted line here. u plus, u minus v, so I go u. Okay, then I go minus v. Well, if this is v in the positive direction, what's going to be v in the negative direction? Oh, that's a little bit tough, but it's going to be v in the opposite direction, something like that. Notice I am trying to keep the lengths relative. Now I've done u minus v. And now I need to finish with plus w. So plus w would be something like this. And again, my question to you would be, instead of doing all that up and down and left and right, instead of doing all that, what could I have just done? Well, I could have just gotten in my car and just gone in that straight line like that. That pink line is the resultant vector. Again, instead of doing all this the up, then minus V, then all over W, instead of doing that, I could have just done this. And this is really the final answer here. Thus, what is the answer? Up and to the right. Again, up and to the right. That makes a lot of sense. Let's do one last one. And for this one, I'll give you guys a second to pause and try. This is a number 15 from a real ACT. Like I said, take a second to pause the video here if you'd like to give it a shot. Or if you want to just watch along, feel free. This is what I see for this question. Well, it says the sum of the two vectors... The sum of the two vectors, well, okay, fine. Well, I have this first vector, and then I add the other vector to it. Really, something like this. Again, I added this vector to the tip of this vector. So I went the first one, and then from there, I went the second one. But instead of doing all that, again, instead of doing all that, I call it hullabaloo. What could I have just done? What's my resultant vector? I think I really like E here. The answer is E. Again, the answer is that resultant vector, that straight line that gets you there faster. Hope that helped. Please like, share, and subscribe if these videos are helping you. I'll zoom out so you can see everything. And I will see you guys on the next one.